Hi everyone, Aaron Van Dyme, Sponzilli Landscape Group, and welcome back to our Landscape Inspiration Series. I'm going to walk you through our brand new project here in Harding Township, New Jersey, where we literally have just started construction on this massive landscape project. The project started early on in the winter time with the landscape design team meeting with the clients to go over all their goals and aspirations for this massive three acre landscape design. We worked with the client to understand what their needs are and from there we developed an amazing master plan that the client was very happy with all within their budget. So now we're at the stage where we're ready to install the landscaping. We've been working with the builders and many uh, contractors to coordinate our efforts and right now the home is nearly completed on the outside which means it's time for us to come in and start the landscaping. Uh, I'm about to walk you through some of the finer details to give you an idea of what will be created here and then the next time I meet with you I'm going to show you what the finished project look like. Come on, take a walk with me. One of the most prominent features in this landscape is the custom gunite pool which I'm standing right next to. It's in the early stages of installation and we're working with our trusted pool contractor to make sure that this is the dream pool for the homeowner. Uh, the design started early on where we worked with the homeowner to understand their wants and needs. So the homeowner definitely wanted to have a hot tub area, a sun ledge that's only a few inches deep so they could put some lounge chairs in it. But uh, the homeowner was also very adamant on having a long space to do their swimming in the morning and in the evenings. So the pool is actually about 50 feet long and it has a perfect swimming lane for the homeowner to do their laps. Uh, another amazing feature is that this is actually an infinity edge pool. So the water will actually splash down off this wall into a trough right here. The pool is centered on these large windows that you see over here, which is the main uh, family room of the house. So it creates a connection between the upper lawn play area and this lower entertainment area. So while the homeowner is out here enjoying the pool, the kids can be playing up on the lawn area and then traveling back and forth through a massive set of staircases that we're actually building centered on the pool. Uh, all in all, what it really creates is just a jaw-dropping view from the inside of the house into this majestic backyard. When creating master plans of this size and of this quality, it's very important to collaborate with any of the design professionals that are involved with the design of the home. So we did that by collaborating with the architect and the interior designer, both who were very interested in seeing how the landscape was going to play out with their design of the home. So we met with them on numerous occasions to make sure that everybody felt that this was the best design, so that there was a seamless transition between the pavilion and the home out into the pool area. And once we're finished with the project, I think you'll gain an understanding of how important those relationships really are. Let me give you a little understanding now of what the homeowner is going to experience as they walk out into the landscape. So I'm exiting the kitchen area right now and I'm in this large open hallway where we have an outdoor kitchen. As I turn right here and enter the pool area, I will walk down one set of steps onto a paved area um, that will have a fire pit centered on the doors and on the pool right in this area right here. Um, the paving for this area is a concrete paver, uh, 20 by 30, that's going to be in a linear pattern. It's going to be edged out with bluestone to match up with the pool and the rest of the masonry that we see around the site. Um, around the pool and the fire pit also, what we're doing is we're incorporating this natural stone material that we find on the house. 
so that we have a seamless design. When you look at the pool area, it blends naturally with the house. So, uh, you know, if you see, these are all the regular size pieces. It's a painstaking process to make it look like this, but at the end of the day, it's an amazing stellar look. We wanted to take advantage of the elevation change between the pavilion and the main living floor of the home. So we actually elevated the pool up a few feet so that the homeowner could take advantage of the infinity edge when looking into the backyard. So right here, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna walk up a set of natural bluestone steps to this upper terrace, which will be flush with the pavilion. So it's gonna give the homeowner a unique opportunity to have two different uh, seating areas. Uh, right here, I'm gonna be walking on a uh, concrete paver walkway that will be surrounded with lush plantings. And as I turn the corner over here, at the shallow end of the pool, we're gonna be building a set of steps that lead you up into the upper lawn area. Um, in the middle of the steps over here, we have a large landing area, almost like a viewing area. They can take advantage of the view of the pool this way, or they can sit up here while the kids are playing in the upper lawn area. It really makes for a nice transitional area between this upper lawn and the lower patio space because there is quite a, a difference in elevation, almost six feet. That wall will be veneered with stone and it'll match with everything else that we have going on in the property. So now I'm at the front of the house. I'm walking out the front door onto this massive bluestone porch that was designed by the architect with this amazing archway that we see here. So very important in the overall design that when we created the driveway for this home, uh, it was centered on the front door. And as you pull into the front of the house, the home emerges, all right? So as the client walks down these steps, if you can imagine, onto a circular courtyard area, that's gonna be all pavers, okay? If they have guests come over, the circular paver courtyard will be plenty of space for people to park. And lastly, uh, to exit the property, uh, there's going to be a long driveway that goes all the way down to the street. Okay, It's going to be lined with Belgian block and it's going to be have an asphalt inlay. Uh, it will be lined also with really nice trees so that we create the alley effect. And lastly, you know, as you exit the property, you'll be driving through two beautiful cedar entrance gates that are going to have stone pillars on the sides of them. And I really am excited to show you those once they're, once they're completed. I'm standing at the driveway entry court, so right off the street, the homeowner and their guests are going to pull on to a Belgian block or cobblestone inlay uh, paved area that's going to be paved from the street all the way up to the entrance gates. So as the gates swing open, another unique feature that we're installing here is a package drop area. So when uh, you know carriers come with packages, large boxes and things like that, they're actually going to have a small little shed that they can place that into. Homeowner can come, pull through the guests, walk down a little pathway, get their packages, and then drive up to the home. The area here, uh, as discussed, is going to be an asphalt inlay with a Belgian block curb on a 45 degree angle. And as I walk through the driveway right here, you'll start to get the vision of our design. And as you turn that corner, the driveway is centered right on the home, and it just makes for an outstanding entrance to the home.